shit, it's not snowing anymore. I... I mean, I, I kind of remember February 24th being the last day of snow, but, uh... This caught me off guard a little bit, and a lot of bit, and I love it, because if I look outside, it's still snowing. <laughs> oh, and it'll be snowing until, like, June. Oh... Uh, but here it's nice in Animal Crossing. It's not snowy anymore, woo! Alright, what did we get? We got ourselves Arctic Camo... Well, that's... Okay, someone's clearly cleaning out their drawer, because... That would have been useful like yesterday, but we don't get any use out of it now. And citrus gingham. What does that look like? Is that the... Huh. I don't think we've had this shirt before. I don't think it's a shirt I particularly care for, but it's one I don't think we've had before. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, let's go enjoy the sunshine in a place that is at least, you know, five hours earlier than us. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to see a nice summer sunset. Ugh, it snows for way too long here. It's really sad. <laughs> I mean, if you love winter, it's great. But unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> too much frostbite and also snow shoveling is the worst. Porter, take me to the nearby place where animals meet and hang out and live and places and things. Village, that's the word I'm looking for. The question is, are we going to run into our old pal Rover, or are we going to run into Blanca? Ah, Rover. See, I actually had a plan for Blanca since it's summer now. Well, spring. Look, it's it's not winter. If it's not winter, it's basically summer. We only have two seasons here. It's winter for all but two months, and then it's summer for those nice two months. And that's what living in Canada is like. It's kind of depressing, really. Again, if, if you don't like winter, anyway. And the cold. And snow. <laughs> All right, Rover. Well, I gotta tell you, it's not winter anymore for some magical reason, and I appreciate that because I like not having winter. Things are okay. We got a new villager a few weeks back, and uh, he hasn't left yet, so that's a plus. thing we'll be doing. I guess empty our pockets at Nook's. Oh, everything's green. It's so wonderful. Oh, let's throw this away. Ooh, what do we have here? I almost didn't notice it because the ground is so green. What do we have for a shirt? A skull shirt. Ooh, that's pretty rocking. Throw that away. Throw this away. Run, 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 run. Throw that away. And, yeah, so let's go to Nook's. Now, we only have a few more days of Nook's, Nookness, so we gotta buy some tickets at some point. Oh, we got a Mammoth Skull. We can sell that for a few bells. We can also sell a dinosaur egg, but not for much. The one downside, and also another paperweight, to it no longer being winter is there's no chance of us getting another dummy. I'm kind of sad about that, honestly, because it is the best piece of furniture. Alright, so that's dealt with. Hey, Mr. Timmy, Mr. Tommy, Mr. Nooklingtons. These are new spring shirts, yeah! I don't think we had a kitty shirt yet, so I'll buy that. And maybe the thing next to it that looks like a bunch of spotlights. Nooklings, I wish to procure the Disco Spotlight shirt, thank you. 
I guess you could call it a gumdrop shirt if you want to be like that, but whatever. I just want the Disco Spotlight shirt. Thank you. Alright. So that's done. Now I wonder what's in store for us today. I mean, clearly it's not snowing. Maybe there's new treasure. Ooh, treasure, treasure, treasure. Gotta check. Gotta check, see if there's treasure. There's a pitfall, but no. Also, 10 days between messages, not a lot going on. D5, well, we should probably go look for it before anyone else does because if anyone else does, they'll just fall in it face first and look like a fool, maybe break their neck. Oh no, it's in the worst acre of all time. Okay, well, this is gonna get interesting real fast. Let's be careful not to fall on our head. Found it. Now we need to dispose of this to make sure that no one abuses this horrible torture device that is known as a pitfall. Let's take his nooks. I'm genuinely curious how much he's willing to pay for a pitfall. I imagine it's one of those things where he's like, well, I'll take it off your hands for free, but that's about it. I guess we'll find out. Alright, Nook, I'm here to sell this pitfall. As long as you make sure to dispose of it in a responsible manner so that no other animal gets hurt. That's the important thing, Nook. You can't let people break their necks with pitfalls. It's not funny when people drop pitfalls all over the place. Just isn't. Beaches! Maybe you need something done. It's not snowing anymore and I don't mind being outside. I know where Pearl is. It's that place where I live. Sure. I will take that off your hands. Okay. And Velma's not missing yet, so we can talk to her. I didn't forget, Velma, that's why I'm talking to you. But you don't have anything for me, so it seems like you forgot about me. That's not very nice. Also, twinsies, I've got that shirt. I just bought it, it's called a kitty shirt. I don't care for it too much, but I don't have it, so I thought I'd get it. Maybe Tangy needs something. Or Tangy, or however you're supposed to read that. You have nothing. Okay, well, then we move on and talk to Goldie. That's how this is gonna work out. We're gonna find something to do from someone. Goldie! It has gotten rather dark, but maybe you need some help? Or not, that's okay. Hey, here's Chow. Careful for any bugs. Might be a little early yet because it's still technically flagged this winter. That's the weird thing, palettes might change, but the definition between winter and spring and between seasons is actually pretty muddy. Nothing for camo frog either. Hmm. People are running out of things to ask me to do in that they haven't asked me to do anything and I'm running out of people to ask. You have this I can take. I'll take a thousand bells, thank you. What are Gulliver's around? It's not looking like it. Nope. Of course, Camo Frog's not here because we talked to him already. Oh, there's Cube. Still wearing that nice optical shirt. What's going on with you, Cube? Do you need anything? I shall take close to Pierce, sure. 
Consider it done, buddy. Alright. Got a sip of water. Let's talk to Cowper. Maybe there's some event going on soon. Nope. Just another peaceful day. But peaceful is boring. What stuff to do? Let's go find Pierce. Oh, it's nice. It's nice and it's not horribly winter out anymore. I mean, it is outside my window, but still, at least in Animal Crossing, it is not horribly winter anymore. Pierce, are you around here? Uh, I think he left. Uh-oh, where could he be? Throw that away. I don't know where Pierce went. This presents a problem. Maybe he had some mail he had to get rid of? Hmm, that doesn't look like it. I guess the next logical place to look would be by the wishing well. Alright, that's where we'll go then. Hey, there's Ketzel. I think this is about the time where birds start molting. You probably don't want to hang around with Ketzel or Pierce for too long. Doesn't look like Gulliver's around. I still don't know where Pierce is, though. Well, we got a fossil. That's a plus. There's Ace. That's not the big blue bird we needed. There's a fish over there, though. Wouldn't mind catching that. Come on, fish. Fish, 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 fish. Mr. Fishy Fish. He's trying to hide, but I know he's there. Come on. Come on. He really did hide there for a sec. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, the barbell steed. Not the most interesting of fish, in that it's not an interesting fish. But we caught it. I just didn't like the idea of some smug fish thinking it could hide from me. It was a matter of pride. I had to catch him. Still, I have no idea where Pierce is, and that's going to be an issue. I need to deliver this to him. I doubt he's in his house right now. Doesn't seem to be around here. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. I don't think you'd be in the player housing area. Doesn't seem like it. Oh. No, I thought I saw him, but it was just a fence post. Admittedly, with the lighting, it looked kind of blue. Fossil? Got a fossil. But no pierce around here. Hmm. Maybe he went to visit where his house used to be. All that long time ago. I guess that's possible. Maybe he misses it. But uh, he's not here. Hmm. There's Velma. There he is. Why are you all the way over here, Pierce? Gonna have dinner with peaches or something? I didn't think she was your type. Anyway, here's a shirt. Hey, I had one of those shirts for a brief time a little earlier. That's not enough bells for the amount of running around I just did, Pierce. But, thank you. Alright, I think the next person we have to talk to would probably be Spike or Ace. Probably Ace, because I think Spike is in the Wishing Well Acre. So let's go talk to Ace. Here he is. Nope, nothing. Oh well. 
We can always talk to Ace later, I guess. Now's the time to talk to a talking pineapple. I mean Spike. Although he looks like a talking pineapple. Nope, nothing for him. Okay, well, then Quetzal would be next on the list. I'd like to think you're my friend, Quetzal. Wait, do you not? Have I made a fool of myself thinking we were friends? Air is kind of important there, Quetzal. A peach? I think air is more important, but I'll get you one, sure. That was a weird way to phrase the statement, get me a peach, but I'll get you a peach. I gotta say the peaches in this game look fluffy and delicious. They look nice and soft. Peaches are great for breakfast. No, I went, like, literally ten feet from your house. Also, it's a terrible reward because I could sell that peach for 500 bells. I don't believe you at all, but I am, in fact, disappointed. Oh well. Let's talk to Cookie. Maybe she's got something going on for us. Okay, she's got the perfect job. I'll get your camera back from Tangy. Although I can't guarantee she'll be the one I get it back from, but I will get it back for you. So let's go find Tangy or Tangy again. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. They're spelled basically the same. I did, in fact. Well, I'll go talk to Spike then. Although it's weird, Spike said he had nothing for us to do. So unless he lent it to someone else entirely, I just don't see it as being a truthful statement that he had nothing for us to do. I know that's Ace's house. I don't know why I had to look at that. Come on, Spike. You know, when you said you didn't have anything for me to do, I thought that kind of meant that you didn't have anything for me to do. I mean, maybe I'm a literal individual in that sense, but I just, you know, when you say you have nothing, specifically, and you spelt it out for me several different ways, I would think that would be that you didn't have anything for me to do, and I wouldn't have to come back to bother you about stuff. And yet, here we are. Hey, furniture. What did we get? A ranch hutch? A hutch made of ranch dressing, presumably. Yep, it's Cookie. She's in both of my towns for some reason. It's weird how I have two towns and, like, the roster is basically identical. Oh no. Not a ball quest, and I know where the ball is too. Ah, Cookie's a good one to have as a favorite, I think. Okay, so we have to somehow get this ball up that hill. Okay. I hate ball quests, I hate ball quests, I hate ball quests, I hate ball quests. No, 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 no. Well, guess we're gonna talk to someone else then. Because I sure as hell am not getting that ball back. Time to go into my pockets at Nooks, I think. And I need some paper. Ugh, ball quests are the worst part. Uh, yes, I, I am getting the new one. I got it ordered as a early birthday present for myself. I'm very excited about it, actually. I plan on streaming it as soon as I get it. This is just sort of a prelude to it that happened a year and a half before it happened. In my defense, I don't have money. Someone just asked, what do you want for your birthday? And I just listed some stuff and they got me a, an order for it, so. It's actually ironic, it was the same person who got me this 
very copy of Animal Crossing like 20 years ago for my birthday too, so there's a nice little bit of uh, history to that. Alright, write a letter to museum. Another on museum. Uh, yes, I'm on GameCube, but I also have the original N64 release. Actually, just before this, I had to record some for the review I'm doing. Plop that there, plop that there, plop that there, and suddenly we've got a lot more space. Alright, where did Pierce... Okay, you weren't there a second ago. I'm calling shenanigans. Do you need anything while I'm here? Because I can't find a ball for Caesar right now. Alright, fine. We'll just go through everyone else again. Oh, right, you need that to take him to Pearl, but she's in another town, so I'll get to that before I'm done tonight. That's fine. Let's talk to Velma. Hopefully she hasn't teleported off. She likes to do that sometimes. Alright. I know Cube. I will talk to him about your handkerchief then. I mean, I can be a human. I can't be a lamb. The game won't let me. But, you know, I, I will be helpful and get it from him. Alright, so gotta go talk to Cube. He should be by down his house, right next to the beach. Just gotta walk through the worst acre of all time. All the trees and rocks and stuff. Ugh. Cube, I need a handkerchief. Of course, Chow did. That sounds like something he'd do. Alright, I'll go talk to him then. Yeah, then. Chow would be all the way here. And it's really nice exotic shirt. Really celebrating the fact it's not winter anymore. It's a very nice shirt. Alright, let's take this back to Velma. that destroying the flowers around where Pearl's house used to be. And deliver this to you. I did manage it, because I'm just nice and friendly. And you gave me enough bells to basically be the equivalent of one piece of fruit. Awesome. Granted, the other villagers who've paid me with cash today have paid significantly less, so... You know, that's still a step forward, I suppose, towards actually good rewards. How about you, Tangy? Nope. Nothing for her. Well, then our next logical step once again will be Goldie. Alright, Goldie. Give me something to do. I will get your Pokemon Pikachu back. I know how incredibly vital it is to have one of those in this day and age. Or even during the day and age when this game came out. That was a weird crossover promotion in this game. We're just gonna start promoting Pokemon Pikachu for some reason. That was also a very painless fetch quest. They're usually a lot worse than that. I'm going, I'm going. Don't tell me what to do, Tangy. You're already on thin ice with all the lying you do. About saying you have stuff for me to do and then not having stuff for me to do. Holy! Consider this delivered. New duds? I wonder how cool they'll be. Certainly they cannot be a cool shirt like this. Let's see, an optical shirt. <gasps> I gotta go talk to Cube right now. It's not a cool shirt, but it is a shirt Cube is currently wearing. Cube, 
twinsies. I'll talk to Spike for you. Excuse me. Um, this is my first town that I made like 20 years ago. I just go back here because uh, it's set like six hours before my actual time. If I were in my real town right now, it would be like 12.30 and everyone's asleep. Uh, but the theme song to this town is uh, the Zelda theme, yeah. And then the theme song to my main town is the theme to Secret of Mana. Well, here it is. When he says whoops, it almost sounds like he doesn't have it anymore. But yes, the tune is totally the Zelda theme. Or at least however much of it I can actually fit in like, I think, 16 notes. All right, cube. Here's your handkerchief. Ah, you are very welcome, cube. More clothes? I'm not gonna have to spend anything on the spring line. <laughs> A new spring shirt. Well, that's fitting. Guess I'm just gonna park my cool shirt there. Wear this for a while. It's a new spring day. We are wearing a new spring shirt. It works. I think we gotta talk to Chow next. Alright, Chow. Ah, nothing for Chow. That's okay. I guess... I guess it's okay. Chow doesn't have anything for us. Ooh, fish. Oh, they have barbell steed. <gasps> There's two fish in one acre. That never happens. Like, seriously, that is not programmed to happen. That's interesting. Nice. You need a quest. Because I am in need of one. Flowers are good. But I can't plant any around your house. I kind of need to buy all of them for my town. Well, I guess I can't help him out today. That would be a sea bass. That's not going to sell for anything. Maybe Camo Frogs come up with something since we last talked to him. Nope. Back to talking to the ugly talking pineapple. Seriously, just change your shirt, Spike, and I'll stop making fun of you. Video to Ketzel? Well, Ketzel's not that far away. Like, you could probably throw it at him from here, but sure. I will deliver it. Because why not? Go, 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 Ketzel! I am here to deliver a outdated media cassette for you. No, I know he's a rhino, but <laughs> his shirt is just so awful. It looks like an ugly pineapple. Wait a minute. I still need to talk to you. Give me something to do. Tell me that you have to deliver someone else's videotape, please. It'd be amazing. And would not be the first time. Alright. Cookie, we're back to you. Give me something to do. Nope. Alright. Well, there's one more place we could look for the ball. Okay, we can give another shot at this ball quest. Problem is, we still have to get across a river with this stupid thing. I hate this thing so much. These are the worst quests ever. Okay. Actually. New idea. You're probably gonna hate me for this, Caesar, but... I've been playing it for over a year, every single day. 
Mainly because I thought it would be fun just to do a sort of daily diary type of thing. I'm sorry you're angry at me, Caesar, but trust me, it's worth it. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna continue to shove you. There we go. Hope he's still angry. Nice thing is, because he lives, like, right here, I don't have to actually kick it across that stupid river that will always kidnap the ball. Because ball quests are the worst. I delivered your ball. Yeah, that's your niece's ball, sure, why not? <laughs> I hate you so much, Caesar. Alright, fine. I'll take wallpaper. Fine. And if you ask me to get you another ball, I will shove you in the river. Uh... Alright, well that happened. I guess we should probably go deliver that tape to Pearl. But if we're gonna go back to our hometown, we gotta buy ourselves some flowers. I'll take some pansies. And I'll take some tulips. And I should take some cosmos. Some more tulips. And finally, some more tulips. Many, many lips. Alright. Now we just gotta get back on that train and deal with Rover. That's the worst part of every single day, the part we have to deal with Rover. No, I'd like to leave, Porter. Well, I mean, I got here like 20 minutes ago, but yeah, I suppose I just got here. But I already bought all the flowers and helped everyone out. There's not a lot left for me to do. I mean, I guess I could ransack people's houses and play their NES games, but that would be about it. And to be fair, I already have most of the best ones. Although I do have to dig through my basement to get there. Uh, I gotta clean that place out. Oh well. On to the train. We have to deal with the most obnoxious cat in the world who just doesn't understand we don't want to talk to him. Until he can learn to say more than two different paragraphs. Come on, Rover. Please hurry up. And get some rocket roller skates or something so you can at least walk faster and get this over with sooner. Like, something... Anything, please. This scene is painfully slow, and I have to deal with it every day. You're the strangest cat I've met. If that answers your question any. See you, Rover. Alright, back home. Time to go plant some flowers. And give that thing back to Pearl, I guess. But flowers first. That's the most important bit. Oh, we have zero new messages from the HRA. That's probably for the best. Yeah, that's uh, this town's 
greatest export is tourism for our super garden. As every flower I have been able to buy since I started playing this daily since the start of last year. And we're not even halfway filled. Which is sad, I'd like to have finished this before the new game came out, but that's just not going to happen realistically. Probably see what the town rating is. Let's go talk to our old pal, Mr. Wishingwell. How are things? Ah, everything's still perfect. That's good to hear. Might be worth wandering around and seeing if Wisp is around as well. Might be enough weeds. Gulliver's not here. Alright. Well, let's start cleaning and see if we can find a Wisp. Excuse me, Cookie. At least it's not snowing anymore. You won't catch your cold out here. If you choose to sleep out here like that. Not running into Wisp yet. Yeah, it's weird. I've got two towns that have the exact same roster of characters. It's bizarre. I'm gonna faceplant a whole bunch today. Read my fortune. At the station, a bright and shiny bowl of soup will be spacing out. Okay. So it means that I just spent 50 bells on absolutely nothing. I hate you, Katrina. You are the worst fortune teller. But on the bright side, at least we're not going to be face planting for the next two minutes. So that's a plus, I guess. Not seeing Wisp yet. And I don't think we will today, but we should still check. Plus we still have to deliver that thing to Pearl at some point. Yeah, she's... <laughs> Kind of the worst. Like, nine times out of ten, she says nothing will happen. And you pay for that privilege. And then, like, the last, you know, one time out of ten, it's, oh, you're gonna face plant for the next two hours. It's the worst. And if you do that around the flowers, they kind of completely break. Ooh. I'll take a free fossil. We should go see Phyllis now that we've got a full set of filled letters. There's Cube's house. There's Spike's house, and there's Spike. Not running into Wisp at all, which I guess is okay. Yeah, paying for nothing is probably better than falling, but at the same time, you know, it would be better just to ignore her entirely and not pay for any of it. She just seems like a weird character to have to interact with at all. Alright, well, no flowers on this side, but there might be enough weeds to call Wisp out. There's Tangy. Nothing over here yet. Nope. A lot of weeds over here, though. Throw that away, throw that away. That way, yeah, there should definitely be enough for a wisp to be here, but I guess it's not guaranteed. Alright, Phyllis! I'm here to mail some letters to the museum. Please take them off my hands. I need more inventory space. There is always more, but just because you asked so nicely. And mail that. That should be all those. 
I do. I mail stuff this late at night. There's no line to get to you. See you, Pete. Okay, well, we're taking care of this acre. Doesn't look like we're gonna run into Wisp at all, but still. Pearl! I have something you left in town that you moved out of like eight months ago. I don't know how you left so much stuff there. Is there anything in that house of yours? Now see, that's a good cash reward. I'll take that, thank you. Still kind of miss the igloos though. As much as I hate winter period, I miss the igloos because that meant we could get the coolest item. There's always a weed right here and I have no idea why. Just a random number generator being odd, I guess. It plays favorites with certain spots in the world. Doesn't look like Wisp is gonna be here today. But Katrina's here, so that might throw everything into whack. I know Gulliver can show up along with other special guests, but I think he's an exception. Hey, Gyroid! Slim Quasoid. Cool. I don't think we needed one, but we have one now. I think our town is now clear of weeds, so that's kind of nice. But I think we've now run out of stuff to do. Unless we maybe talk to Snake and see if he has anything going on. He moved out. Well, that sucks. And we definitely have nothing to go on because every other villager is asleep at this hour except for Pearl. Well. Probably take a look at my basement just to see if there's really any way I can attack cleaning it. I should probably do that at some point. Just every day take two or three things out of the basement or something. Uh oh. And this is where I received a letter from Snake hearing he moved out. I'm more worried about who he's replacing in the next town over though. But we'll figure it out. How do I want to clean this place up? Because I don't think there's enough to get a straight shot to get to my NES games. And this is the ones at the very back. Maybe if I move those two gyrates up there. I don't know. That's a problem for another day. I think I might sell this noisemaker though, I don't really need it. Anyway, I think that will be it for tonight. So I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, plus Mario Maker earlier in the evenings and other stuff when I have the time. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is help everyone twice find a loophole in the ground getting that ball across that damn river, as well as continue to work on our awesome super garden. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, internet.